Have you been plagued with under eye bags or puffy under eyes for as long as you can remember? Let's fix that today permanently. Hello my friends, I'm coming to you with a video that I am really excited about simply because this is something that is not going to cost you a dime. It is something that you can do in your home yourself. You are not going to need any extra products whatsoever and we're gonna completely elim eliminate any extra under eye bags that you might have. And hello, Ollie. Hello, Ollie, get down. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, get down. Get down, weirdo, get down. So several years ago, I was watching YouTube and I stumbled across a video by a woman named Anastasia and she was a celebrity facialist to the stars. And she is England-based. England She's a great gal. She is very hands-on and she teaches different techniques and different ways to massage your face, to increase circulation, lymphatic drainage, and a benefit that I found that after I started doing them was the elimination of my under eye bags. So we're going to tackle that and I'm going to show you exactly what I do and how I incorporate that into my skincare every day, every evening. And I'm going to share all of those techniques with you in this video today. If you want to, if you want to stop this video, go wash your face and get ready to do this. I can suggest to you get a good cream any cream will do one that you don't mind using a little bit extra because that's what I do in this video is I use a lot of cream and then I also incorporate my favorite oil right now I'm using an alginest oil you don't have to use this oil you can use anything you have I have a big jar of hemp seed oil which I use I also have a big jar of jojoba oil and there. you could do this right along with me if you want to and it is so simple and I think that it's going to help you tremendously and I can assure you that this is what I did to completely eliminate my under eye bags and I don't have them anymore. The only time I have puffy eyes is when I have a ball fest. I've cried a lot or something like that. Then I'm going to have puffy eyes, but this works so well. I will also link below her videos, Anastasia's videos, and so that you can see those. I have talked long enough now. Let's get on with the video so I can show you exactly how to eliminate under eye bags and puffiness for good. So in demonstrating this routine to you, I have a cleaned face. I have put on some of my serums and usually I would do this at night. You can most definitely do this in the morning. I would incorporate it both times, but at night you're giving yourself a little bit more stimulation. You're giving yourself a little bit more of a deeper massage here. That's kind of a taboo word when we're talking about our eyes, but it's a little bit deeper because we want to have the benefits of that go deeper than just the surface. So this lymphatic system in our face can get clogged just like anywhere else in our body. Think of if you've ever nursed a baby and you actually had a milk duct get clogged. It is so painful and it gets hot and it hurts. And really the only way to get rid of that is to express your milk or to nurse the baby. And lots of times a doctor will tell us, you know, massage underneath your arm here. That's where we have lymph nodes as well down through here. But our face is full of this system that needs to drain as well. And we get so worried about touching our our face, touching our eyes, too much pressure, too much drag that we're going to create wrinkles that we forget that our body is meant to be touched. Our face is meant to be touched contrary to COVID laws right now. These muscles in our face need to be touched. They need to be worked just like any other muscle in your body. If you don't work it, it's going to atrophy. All right, let's get started. I want to tell you that you can use other tools. You can use your jade roller and you can use the germanium roller if you want to. I will reserve these for the morning. I like the coolness that they provide on the eyes, especially if you do wake up, you've had too much salt the night before, 
you've had a good cry fest, whatever it is, these can really be beneficial because they do provide that cooling effect. Now, as far as what you can use to massage, I don't care what you use. I am using just a cream. This is not necessarily an eye cream. It is the Dermatology Peptide Night Cream. It doesn't have to be an eye cream, but you are, you are going to use a lot. And that is a lot. And here's the kicker on it. I enjoy putting any oil in it to help give it a little bit more slip. We're massaging. You know when you go get a massage, they really use a lot of that oil. So I'm going to just put a dropper full into the cream that I am using. And then I'm gonna use my hands and I'm really going to get some friction going here. The reason being is because I have cold hands and my hands are always super duper cold. So that's not a bad thing, but the heat can be very soothing, especially if you have a headache and you're doing this massage for headache. So I've worked that in, I can feel that slip, it's wonderful. Now I'm just gonna just sit here for a second and I'm gonna apply pressure to this part of the eye and this part right here. So those two bones, I'm just giving a little bit of pressure. If you've ever had an acupuncture or an acupressure session, either one, they all use what we call tension release. And that is what this can do for you. It can really release tension. And sometimes when our eyes are puffy, that's the reason. Many times it can be just because we have a sluggish drainage system or lymphatic system. So I want you to start right in here in the corner of your eye. And I want you to take all three fingers. You're not gonna just, you know, use your weakest finger here. We're wanting some pressure. Now you're not digging at your skin at all. You're not like, you know, trying to go in there and just give yourself the heaviest massage you've ever had. Although my husband really enjoys this and he enjoys when I really do massage it really firmly because he does get really bad sinus headaches. This can help with your sinus headaches too. So you're going all the way around and you are just applying pressure and you can start whichever way you want to. What's interesting about our eyes is that they enjoy being massaged both ways because the drainage around our eyes, it does work both ways. So go ahead and you're pressing on those bones, on that bone, and you can feel immediately how lovely this feels. The other thing this is gonna do, if you are a woman that has terrible dry under eyes, you are going to absolutely love how this just really makes your under eyes feel soft because you're using a motion that's going to put that product deep, deep inside instead of just doing surface and then we're done. One of the things when you're pushing this way, going towards the outside, push up with your hands and your fingers and just push up towards the temple and feel those temples. They have so much tension in them. My husband loves this. If you ever have someone in your house that has a horrible headache, the tip is behind the neck with an ice pack and then this motion is awesome. It's absolutely amazing. Do this five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 times, however long, and then switch and do it the other way. I will go back and forth. I don't have a specific way that I like to do it, but you are definitely wanting to build a massage routine into the end of your skincare because that benefit is going to be so good for draining those eyes, those puffy under eyes and you will just notice such a big difference. Our lymphatic system in our body drains this way, drains down. So, you know, we have all of the, the lymph nodes here. We have some lymph nodes here. We have all our lymph nodes across right here in our chest. We have them underneath our arm. So if you're someone that has a lot of aching in your neck, you might even wanna think about pulling this down like this. Because once you get this moving through your eyes right here, then when you pull it down your neck, you're actually aiding it to drain even more. And then you can go down into your chest right there. I have so much tension right there, I can feel it. And then you can go down on the other side and do the same thing. I have a lot of tension on this side as well. I have a tendency 
tendency to get a lot more tension on my left side than I do my right. So this is so lovely. And it really, really does help your muscles to wake up and to know that they need to be worked. They, they need to have hands-on in order for them to perform their function. All right, so that is that little massage right there. The other thing you can do that will help release tension, help release the bags, is do a little bit of a pinching and squeezing motion across the bones, the bones and the tissue and the muscles and everything through here can hold so much tension. And the other nice thing about this is that not only are you releasing tension, you're releasing the fluid that's around there, you're stimulating it, you're bringing the blood to the surface, which helps so much. And it really is very, very therapeutic. If you're somebody that has lines right here between your forehead, mine are the worst. I actually will do a two finger massage one way, and then you can do your two finger massage the other way. And so all of this is going to help tremendously with wrinkles, but it's really going to aid that drain of those eye bags. It, I would suggest that you incorporate this every night. You can do this up to 10 times a day. So I would say that if you are somebody that does have those really heavy bags and you've been battling them your whole life, you're gonna take a while in order for them to get moving and in order for them to kind of understand what you want them to do. Lots of times when we leave areas alone, it takes a while for them to wake up. So they need to learn what you're trying to make them do. And then once they learn, then it will be automatic and you will notice a difference. Now, one thing that I'll give you a little bonus right here because I have done this massage for a long time. This massage is great for the neck as well. Like I said, we have that drain part right there, but also these muscles right here can also be awakened from this massage. I take my thumbs and my four fingers in this motion and then I just push up along the jaw, underneath that jaw right there. And sometimes when I'm doing this, I close my eyes because it feels so good. Sometimes when I'm doing this, I can actually feel the little kernels in there release, like little calcium deposits release. That is such a good feeling. So you have this as well that will help your jawline and just go all the way up. And you can also take your hands like this and then go in this V shape and go up along that jaw as well. This helps that all the muscles in the neck. Our neck muscles are super strong, but they're super tight. And we need to massage them and help them to release as well. And it feels so good. I can't even begin to tell you how good this feels. The other thing is that once you get into a routine, you can do it just with your skincare. It takes two or three minutes and you're done, completely done. And it just, the benefits of it are going to be there and they're going to be cumulative, which is so great. I love that about it. So now you have an oily face, yes. And I realize that if you're doing this in the morning, you may not want to use the oil, but go ahead and just grab a tissue and then blot really well and all that oil will come off and you won't have oil underneath your makeup makeup if you're going to do it in the morning. I find that I use the oil at night and I just use the cream in the morning. And if you do have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. This is super easy. We're just trying to wake up this whole area. Don't be afraid to touch your face. Wash your hands first so that you don't get in trouble with COVID at all. Thanks so much for stopping by and tuning in and I hope you did enjoy it. Give it a thumbs up. I will catch you all in my next video. Love you. Bye-bye.